Let's talk about reducing your water bill, specifically these three points that must be known. How to fix a leaky faucet and save up to $200 per year. How to use a low flow shower head and save up to $300 per year. How to install a dual flush toilet and save up to $500 per year. Are you tired of paying a fortune on your water bill? Do you want to keep more money in your pocket? Well, it's time to take control of your water usage and start implementing these three simple and effective solutions. As an efficiency expert, I have seen countless people waste money on unnecessary water usage. But not anymore. By fixing a leaky faucet, using a low flow shower head, and installing a dual flush toilet, you can save up to $1,000 per year. That's right, $1,000. So stop flushing your hard earned money down the drain and start making a change today. With my guidance, you can become a water saving machine and enjoy the financial benefits that come with it. Let's get started. Hey, it's K Waterloo here, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. If you're not paying attention to your water usage, you're throwing away your hard earned money. And let's be honest, who likes throwing away money? Not me, and I bet you don't either. But don't worry, because I've got your back. Today, I'm gonna show you how to reduce your water bill and keep more money in your pocket. And the best part? It's gonna be easy, effective, and even a little fun. Let's start by talking about the financial benefits of water conservation. I'm not just talking about saving a few pennies here and there. I'm talking about real, tangible savings that add up over time. For example, let's say you're a family of four and you're using about 400 gallons of water a day. That might not sound like a lot, but over the course of a year, that's over 146,000 gallons of water. And if you're paying, let's say, 5 cents per gallon, that's $7,300 a year. That's a lot of money, folks. But don't worry, because there are some simple and effective solutions that can help you reduce your water usage in your bill. And the first solution is one that's so easy, you'll wonder why you didn't think of it before, the faucet aerator. Now, I know what you're thinking, what the heck is a faucet aerator? Well, it's a small device that you can install on your faucet, and it can save you up to two-thirds of your water consumption, without sacrificing any of your comfort. It's like a magic wand that can turn your wasteful faucet into a lean, mean, water-saving machine. And the best part? It's affordable. For only a few bucks, you can buy a faucet aerator that will pay for itself in no time. And you don't have to be a DIY expert to install it, it's as easy as screwing in a light bulb. But let's get down to the nitty gritty. How much money can you save with a faucet aerator? Well, for our family of four, by installing a faucet aerator, you can reduce your daily water usage to 133 gallons a day. That's a saving of 267 gallons a day. And over the course of a year, that's a savings of over $700. Let me put that in perspective for you. $700 could get you a new smartphone, a weekend getaway, or even a month's worth of groceries. And all it takes is a simple, affordable device that you can install in minutes. It's like finding money under your couch cushions, except you're finding it in your water bill. But the faucet aerator is just the beginning. There are other simple solutions that can help you save even more money on your water bill. For example, have you ever heard of turning down the valve or tap under your sink? It's a little trick that can save you even more money. By turning down the valve until you have a trickle of water, you can save even more money. And you might think it's a sacrifice, but it's not. It's like putting your money in a savings account that earns you interest. And the best part? You'll still have enough water to wash your hands or brush your teeth. It's like going to the gym. The first week might be a little boring, but after that, you'll start seeing results. And just like going to the gym, saving money on your water bill takes discipline and determination. And for those of you who think that these devices are only a drop in the bucket when it comes to saving water, think again. Every little bit counts, and if everyone made small changes in their water usage, it would make a huge difference. Let me give you an example. If every household in the United States installed a faucet aerator, it would save over 60 billion gallons of water per year. That's equivalent to the annual water usage of more than 600,000 households. And that's just one small device. Imagine the impact we could make if we all did our part. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but I already have low flow fixtures in my home, so I don't need to make any changes. Well, let me tell you something. Even low flow fixtures can be optimized for maximum efficiency. By adding a faucet aerator or turning down the valve or tap, you can reduce your water usage even further, which will translate into even greater savings on your water bill. And speaking of savings, let's talk about the financial benefits of reducing your water usage. Not only will you save money on your water bill, but you'll also save money on your energy bill. That's because less water usage means less hot water usage, which means less energy usage. And less energy usage means more money in your pocket. But the benefits don't stop there. By reducing your water usage, you're also doing your part to conserve water resources for future generations. Water is a precious resource, and we should all do our part to protect it. 
And when you think about it, by conserving water, you're also conserving energy and reducing your carbon footprint. It's a win-win situation. Now, I know some of you might be hesitant to make changes to your water usage because you're afraid it will be inconvenient or uncomfortable. But let me tell you, it's not as hard as you might think. In fact, it's like forming any new habit, it might take a little time and effort at first, but once you get used to it, it becomes second nature. And the rewards are well worth it. So, what are you waiting for? Start making small changes in your water usage today. Install a faucet aerator, turn down your valve or tap, and start seeing the savings pile up. And if you're feeling really ambitious, you can also look into other ways to conserve water, such as fixing leaks, taking shorter showers, and using a broom instead of a hose to clean your driveway. In the end, it all comes down to making small changes in our daily routines. By doing so, we can save money, conserve water, and protect the planet. So, let's all do our part and make a difference today. Hey there, I want to start by thanking all of my amazing supporters for helping me reduce my water bill without sacrificing my quality of life. You guys are the real MVPs. Now, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? By subscribing and activating notifications, you'll never miss out on any of my life-changing tips and tricks for saving money on your water bill. And if you like what you see, share it with your friends and family. Let's all work together to save some serious cash. I'm excited to embark on this journey with you guys, and I want to hear from you. Share your ideas and opinions for future content in the comments below, and I promise to give you exclusive behind-the-scenes access to my creative process. And for all the haters out there, I want to remind you that positive collaboration is key. Instead of tearing each other down, let's focus on constructive criticism and working together to achieve our goals. So, let's get to it. Hey there, I'm back with some more tips and tricks to help you save money on your water bill. In the first part, I talked about how a simple device like a faucet aerator can make a big difference in your water consumption and your wallet. But that's just the beginning. There are so many other ways you can reduce your water usage and save money. Let's talk about your toilet. Did you know that toilets are responsible for up to 30% of your water usage? That's a lot of water going down the drain. But don't worry, there's an easy fix. You can install a toilet tank bank or a displacement bag. These small devices take up space in your toilet tank, reducing the amount of water needed to fill it up. It's like putting a brick in your toilet, but without the risk of damaging your plumbing. By installing a toilet tank bank or a displacement bag, you can save up to 500 gallons of water per year. That's not just good for your wallet, it's good for the environment too. And the best part? They're inexpensive and easy to install. You can find them at your local hardware store for around $5. Now, let's talk about your showerhead. A high-pressure showerhead might feel great, but it's also a huge waste of water. By switching to a low-flow showerhead, you can save up to 2.5 gallons of water per minute. That's a lot of water. And don't worry, you won't even notice the difference. Low-flow showerheads are designed to provide the same amount of water pressure while using less water. By making this simple switch, you can save up to $145 per year on your water bill. And just like the faucet aerator, a low-flow showerhead is easy to install and affordable. You can find them at your local hardware store for around $20. But saving water isn't just about the devices you install. It's also about changing your habits. Here are a few tips to help you reduce your water usage even further. Fix any leaks in your plumbing. A small drip might not seem like a big deal, but over time it can waste a lot of water. Only run your dishwasher and washing machine when they're full. This will save you money on both your water bill and your energy bill. Don't let the water run while you're brushing your teeth or shaving. This is a huge waste of water. Take shorter showers. A 5-minute shower uses around 15 to 25 gallons of water, while a 10-minute shower uses around 50 gallons of water. Cutting your shower time in half can make a big difference in your water consumption. These might seem like small changes, but they can add up to big savings over time. And the best part? They're easy to implement in your daily routine. In conclusion, folks, there are so many simple and effective solutions to reduce your water usage and save money. By installing a faucet aerator, a toilet tank bank or a displacement bag, and a low-flow showerhead, you can save hundreds of dollars per year. And by changing your habits, you can reduce your water consumption even further. Remember, every drop counts. By making these small changes, you're not only saving money, you're also doing your part to conserve water and protect the planet. So, what are you waiting for? Start implementing these tips today and start seeing the results. Your wallet and the environment will thank you. Alright, folks, it's time to take action and start saving some serious cash. As an efficiency expert, I've put together a course that will teach you all the tips, strategies, and knowledge you need to reduce your water bills. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, my course is suitable for all skill levels, and the benefits are undeniable. By joining my mission to reduce water bills and contribute to the community, 
you'll not only be saving money, but you'll also be making a positive impact on the environment. And who doesn't want to do their part to protect our planet, while also filling their wallets? Plus, I've got some exciting partnerships in the works with top brands in the industry, all focused on reducing bills and living a more sustainable lifestyle. And as a subscriber to my content, you'll be the first to know about these exclusive collaborations and have access to some amazing deals. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description to learn more about my course and start your journey towards a more sustainable and cost-effective lifestyle today. Together, we can make a real difference. Alright, folks, we've talked about the financial benefits of reducing your water consumption, but let's get down to the nitty-gritty of implementing these solutions in your daily life. First of all, let's talk about the faucet area. It's a simple device that can save you a ton of money, but if you're not sure how to install it, don't worry. You don't need to be a DIY expert to do it. In fact, it's as simple as screwing it onto your faucet. Most faucet aerators come with instructions, but if you're still not sure, you can find plenty of tutorials on YouTube. Now, let's talk about turning down the valve or tap under your sink. This might seem like a sacrifice, but it's not. It's just a small adjustment that can lead to big savings. And let's be real. How often do you need a full blast of water when you're washing your hands or brushing your teeth? Just turn it down until you have a trickle of water, and you're good to go. But here's the thing, folks, it's not just about installing these devices or turning down the valve. It's about creating a new mindset around water consumption. Just like going to the gym, it takes discipline and determination to make it a habit. So, here are some tips to help you stay on track. 1. Set a goal. How much do you want to reduce your water consumption by? Make it realistic and achievable. Two. Track your progress. Keep a log of how much water you're using every day. You can use an app or just a simple notepad. 3. Get the family involved. It's not just about you, it's about everyone in your household. Get them on board and make it a team effort. 4. Celebrate your success. When you reach your goal, celebrate. Maybe treat yourself to a nice dinner or put the money you saved into a vacation fund. And here's another thing, folks, don't be afraid to get creative. There are plenty of other ways to reduce your water consumption and save money. For example, try taking shorter showers or using a rain barrel to collect water for your garden. The possibilities are endless, and the more you do, the more money you'll save. So, let's sum it up, folks. Reducing your water consumption is not only good for the environment, but it's also great for your wallet. By installing a faucet aerator, turning down the valve or tap, and creating a new mindset around water consumption, you can save hundreds of dollars a year. It's like having a personal financial advisor, but for your water usage. So, what are you waiting for? Get started today and start seeing the results. And remember, folks, every drop counts. Alright, my fellow efficiency enthusiasts, that's all for today's discussion on reducing water bills. I hope you found my tips and strategies helpful in your pursuit of a more sustainable and cost-effective lifestyle. But wait, before you go, don't forget to check out my course that provides all the knowledge and skills you need to save on your water bills, no matter your skill level. By joining my mission to reduce water bills and contribute to the community, you can make a positive impact on the environment and your wallets. And, keep your eyes peeled for my upcoming partnerships with some amazing brands in the space of reducing bills, which I'll be sharing more details about in the description link below. Lastly, I encourage you to explore my other videos for even more money-saving solutions and to be part of our smart community. Together, we can create a brighter, more sustainable future for all. Thank you for watching, and stay efficient, my friends.